देखा जाए तो भारत में बी काऊ इसके इसका क्या इतिहास रहा है ये हम थोड़े से में देखना चाहेंगे आपको मैं जानकारी दे दूं कि स्वामी विवेकानंद अपनी रचनाओं में लिखते हैं जिसको मैंने कई जगह पे उद्धृत भी किया है स्वामी जी लिखते हैं कि वैदिक काल में गाय का मांस खाया जाता था इस पर एक बहुत महत्वपूर्ण किताब भारत के एक इतिहासकार डी एन झा की आई है डी एन झा की किताब मिथ ऑफ होली काउ यह हमें बताती है कि वैदिक काल में गाय का मांस खाया जाता था गाय की बलि दी जाती थी वेदों में एक शब्द है अथो अन्नम व्या गौ और उसके साथ एक लंबे तरीके से बताया गया है किसके लिए मेहमान के लिए ब्राह्मण के लिए किस प्रकार से गाय को उनको ऑफर करना चाहिए उनको परोसना चाहिए उनको देना चाहिए ये पूरी चीज़ें इतिहास में वास्तव में बहुत स्पष्टता से आई है destroy those who kill cows the vedas are not only against animal slaughter but they strongly oppose and forbid cow slaughter yajur ved forbids the slaughter of cows because they provide energy giving food for human beings ओम इमग्न साहस्रम शतधारम उत्सम यच्यमान शरीर से मध्य घृत दुहादि जनायाग्ने हिंसी परमे व्योम डू नॉट किल काउज इन बुल्स हुव टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड ओम आरे गोहा नृहा वधो वो अस्तु इन द ऋग्वेदा Cow slaughter has been declared a crime equivalent to human murder and that anyone who commits this crime should be severely punished. Om Suya Vasad Bhagavati hi bhuya atho vayam bhagavantasyam adhitranam agnye vishwadanim pibashuddha mudakam acharanti. The agnya cows which are not to be killed under any circumstances may keep themselves healthy by use of pure water and green grass so that we may be endowed with virtues knowledge and wealth the vedic lexicon nikantu gives amongst other synonyms of cow or cow the words agnya ahi and aditi yask the commentator on nikantu defines these as agnya the one that ought not to be killed ahi the one that must not be slaughtered aditi the one that ought not to be cut into pieces om agnyayam sa vardhatam mahate saubhagaya kao the agnya brings us health and prosperity om suprapanam bhavatvagnyabhya There should be excellent facility for pure water for agnya cow. Om yah paurushe ye na kravisha samante yo ashve na pasuna ya tu dhana yo agnya ya bharati kshira magne te sham shirshani har saapi vrischa. Those who feed on human, horse, or animal flesh, and those who destroy milk-giving agnya cows should be severely punished. ओम अंतकाय गोघातोज अग्निया 
loves its calf Om Dhenum Sadanam Rainam Cow is fountain head of all bounties The entire 28th sukta or hymn of the 6th mandal of the Rig Veda sings of the glory of the cow Om Agavo Agmanuta Bhadramakran Sidantu Goshte Ranayantvasme Everyone should ensure that cows are free from miseries and kept healthy Bhuyo bhuyo rai midasya vardhayan abhinne khilye nadadhati devayum God blesses those who take care of cows Om natana shanti nadabhati taskaru nasama mitro vyathirada dharshati Even the enemy should not use any weapon on cows Om nata arvarenu kakato ashnutena sanskritatra mupayantita abhi No one should slaughter the cow Urugayam abhayam tasya ta anugavo martasya vicharanti ajwana Cow brings prosperity and strength Om yuyam gavo medayatha krisham chida shriram chet krinutha supratikam If cows keep healthy and happy men and women shall also keep disease free and prosperous mavahastena ishata maghashansa parivoheti rudrasya vridhya may the cow eat green grass and drink pure water may they not be killed and bring prosperity to us what more proof does one need to fully understand the high esteem with which not only the cow but all living beings are held in the vedas now you you the learned audience after what you have just seen and heard can decide for yourself that the vedas are against all in human practices especially the consumption of beef and the slaughter of cows there is no beef in the vedas समानो मंत्र समिति समाने समानम मन सहचित्त समानम मंत्र मंत्र सामन वो हिषाजु भूमि समानीव आकूति समानदयानिव सनमस्तु भूमनो यथाव सुसहासती ओ